All right, so it's Monday, and now it's starting to rain right here in Riverside. But don't worry, because we're going to have delicious food right now. It's now time to dish in the Wind Dixie kitchen. We're flexible. We know yeah. how to we know how to operate under these type of conditions. Yeah. And right now, the sip and savor is happening all throughout Jacksonville, and it gives people an opportunity just to try different restaurants all around town. And we have a special guest with us today. Yes, we have Courtney Cox and David Pickett with us from Sliders Seafood Grill and Oyster Bar, and. Uh, yeah, we, can I just say, blame it on the rain. <laughs> I just had to do it. I wanted to go there. But you guys are going to make us something that's truly scrumptious today. What are we working with? This uh, Cajun mixed grill. Oh, yeah. And uh, we've got mashed potatoes and spinach to go with it. That sounds amazing. So do you want to throw it up there on a skillet? And sure. Get started? Now, David, you're a chef there, correct? I Normally, I'm a chef there. <laughs> now, when you say normally, now here's why. We have a little bit of an inside yeah. scoop. Courtney kind of ratted you out a little bit because I was asking, like, what's your day to day? And you're like, well, I just bought a boat. <laughs> and I go out to the Bahamas like every other day. Is, is that kind of true? That's true. But, but I only do that so I can go cook lobster and stuff every day instead of... <laughs> I get it. So you're still working. It's a, a labor of love, as do they say. Do you fish while you're out on your boat? I do. Oh, okay. We troll and we, we spear the fish and stuff that we cook. On Wait, the... spear fishing? You actually go down in the water? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now, Courtney, let's talk about Sip and Savor that's happening throughout Jacksonville. Like, so what exactly is it and how did you guys get involved well it's community based yeah, and we just want to promote you know our, what we've had on our menus for 34 years now like our butternut grouper the mixed grill came in you said 81 1981 1981 was wow. when we first had it and then shrimp and grits you know our famous key lime pie so what's your personal favorite there <laughs> my personal favorite would be the seafood meatloaf <laughs> seafood meatloaf what's in it I have gas secret on the ingredients. Boat too. Secret ingredients. Yes. It's a lot of so shrimp, and sausage, easy. and then the gravy. That Over sounds. Wait, wait, did really I get, what did I hear about some meatloaf, seafood? Seafood meatloaf. So what? Sea loaf, a fish loaf, if yes. you will. Right? <laughs> yes. How did you come you up with switch that? it up on your menu? He came up with it. I don't know. Well, so you were off your boat, decided, <laughs> hey, I'm going to put in a nine to five, and you came up with a dish. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, I'm done talking to you. <laughs> All right, so you what know, process are you now? Butter. Nice. Because that's what actually gets it cooking. It's the catalyst. And what are some of the tricks that you've developed over the years in your profession when, you, when it comes to seafood? Because I feel like it's kind of a finicky type thing to cook. Seafood, uh, cook it sparingly, you know, when you're on high heat. And then when you get ready to finish it, you take the whole thing and put it in the oven. You just leave it in the oven for maybe five minutes on 400 degrees and it comes out juicy and what kind of, ready to go. What kind of pan do you suggest? Like say you don't have a cast iron, like cast iron's really good, but first and foremost, if you are using a pan, it's gotta be hot. You can't put it on a cold one, right? Correct. Yeah. You right. would use uh, an aluminum. Uh, okay. So you can so, use uh, any kind. Yeah. Um, we don't use cast iron. It's, oh, is that not cast? It is. Uh -huh. So, but. Courtney, do you have... <laughs> we don't use it at the restaurant. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, at, at the restaurant, Courtney, do you have any special menu items for this week? For yes. The, uh, um, the mixed grill, we usually, we took it off the menu, and then... When we you put it back on. It's back on, and then we have the butternut grouper, which has been on there for 34 years. Shrimp and grits, which you can't, it's uh, local made pork cot. Yeah. Um, and then the chicken pasta for people who don't like seafood. Now, what about if you're not really into seafood, but you want to get started, what's a nice, simple dish to start out with? I would say the butternut grouper. Butternut grouper? It's not so fishy, it's flaky, and the butternut crust is just amazing. It fits more people's palate, you know. It's not real spicy, it's got the pecans. What Everybody do you pair a grouper with? What are some things, traditionally? Vegetable? Parrot? Yeah. A vegetable. A vegetable. Starch, yeah. And our we island have uh, rice. Island rice. rice mm -hmm. yeah. What's all in the island rice? That sounds really good. And white wine. And white wine. Yeah. White wine. Is, that, is that true? Do you always have to go white wine with fish or no? Mm, I do a red stripe. <laughs> <laughs> so you can That's go big? Yeah, it's making beer. We do all sorts of things with seafood, red wine. And the, is there any tricks when you're buying seafood? Anything to look for? Yeah, you know, like the fish needs to be clear. And Clear. shiny. Okay. When you start to see fish graying and opaque, it's uh, not a good sign. So the coloring <laughs> clear. That's good to know. Yeah. Coloring yeah. clear. That's made simple. Now, you guys are generous enough. You're going to give away a $25 gift certificate. Yes. And all you have to do is email us at rclcontest at wjxt.com. And you just have to put down that I love sliders seafood. All right. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you. This thank is almost going to be done as soon as it is. I'm definitely going to dive into it. Let's check in with Eden. Ha <laughs> ha.